What's up, everybody? It's your boy Charm City Gamer here, recording on the OBS software with the brand new headset. As you can see, the red one. I have the red one for the OBS filmings, and I got the blue one sitting over here for other stuff. Actually, I haven't used the blue one in a while. Now, you guys are really wondering, where's my content been? I haven't posted a video since. Let's look at the let's look at the boards here. I haven't posted a video since May the seventh. That's now June thirteenth. Well, rest assured, I'm not in a creative funk or anything. I've just been so swamped with things I've been doing with only the show 22. I haven't had the chance or the time to really sit down and post any kind of content. And it was going to be another one of those days where I just sat back, relaxed, let my stuff do its thing for me. You know, pick up the views, pick up the any kind of money accumulation where, it, where I've actually gained subscribers even though I haven't made a video in a um, I actually haven't posted a video in a month. We're actually up, up, up to 2,236 subscribers, so thank you guys much for that. And estimate revenue over the past uh, 28 days, we're at 4, 1,426, where we were at about 20-something, so that'll pick up once we start making videos again. But I'm rambling. I just wanted to let you guys know that, hey, videos will come. And I hadn't planned on making one today, but in all the uproar, I feel I have no choice but to talk about it. Everyone's favorite high-flying risk-taker, Jeff Hardy, the charismatic enigma, whatever you want to call him. Jeff Hardy has, once again, been arrested. He was arrested for DUI late last night, driving with, for, with a suspended license. He actually blew, you know, the breath out. I don't know the thing. I don't know how that works. I don't know how much, I don't know how they measure it based on the amount of alcohol you take in. But his breath analyzer thingy was at 0. Point, what was it? Let me look it up. Um, wait a minute. His breath thing was, I, we're talking about it in a, in a group chat on Twitter. It was at, uh, it was at .29. That's, that's 3.5 times the legal limit for drinking. Again, I don't know how the, um, I don't know how the drinking thing works and everything. I don't know how, I don't know how it's measured in terms of, like, how much you drink. But, I've just got this to say. Jeff... All your fans, man, we love you. We love you to death. We want you to succeed and be happy. You've already crafted yourself a Hall of Fame run, a Hall of Fame career. You've got millions and millions of fans all across the globe. But, buddy, you got to quit doing this to yourself, man. I mean, you may have dodged death like five or six or seven times. But sooner or later, all this shit's going to catch up to you, brother. Sooner or later, you're going to run out of chances at the Riverdale slots table, at their craft table. And you're going to be up there with Razor Ramon before your time, man. You don't want that. You don't want to die early. So, Jeff, and to anyone struggling with addiction or any kind of demons, I assure you, all you've got to do is reach out for help. And maybe you may be scared to reach out for help, but I assure you, if you're in trouble, ask for help. Reach out, text somebody, call somebody. You're not going to be seen as weak. You're going to be seen as the most courageous. It's, it's uh, reaching out for help when you're in the state that Jeff Hardy's in, you know, because he was actually he was actually arrested, you know, for uh, for driving with a suspended license while under the influence. You know, reaching out when you're in need of help. You're not going to be seen as weak or anything like that. If you can reach out, <clears throat> and let somebody know, hey, I'm in trouble. I need some help. I need to get my ass checked into rehab. You're not going to be seen as weak. Look at. Look at what John Moxley did when he checked himself in. He, he knew he was having a problem with alcoholism, and he checked himself into rehab. Everybody praised him for that. Everybody said, you know, come back when you're good and healthy. We'll be here waiting for you, and we'll cheer you on. You know, if John Moxley did it, anybody can. But like I said, if, if you're in need of help, reach out. Text somebody. Call somebody. Let somebody know, hey, I'm in a bad spot here. Can you come help me out? Can you get me to... You know, alcoholics and limits. Can you get me into an alcohol rehab? I know it hurts, and I know people will be afraid to ask for help. But Jeff, man, that's what you need. Right now, you need to put down the wrestling for six months, for three to six months, maybe a year. Come back at 45, and then chase the tag title from that. We don't want you potentially dying out there in the ring, or having another victory of 2011 incident. We want you to be able to, you know, eventually retire... And be with your family and have a nice long life with your wife and kids and maybe even be a grandpa someday. We don't want you to be one of those wrestlers that died early like Eddie Guerrero. 
We want you to have a nice, long, fulfilling life. And right now, with all these, you know, drug shenanigans, you ain't gonna do that. So, please, Jeff. Please. Please, please, please. Reach out, man. Call DDP. Text somebody. Call Matt. Call Tony. Let them know. Let them know you're in trouble. Let them know you need help. The worst thing you can do is have a problem and not tell somebody. I know, I know you're, you know, you're driven on pride. You don't want to, you don't want to let your creatures down and everything. But right now, you kind of are letting us down in a way. You, we don't want you to be. We don't want you to be an early, early life fatality statistic. We want you to, you know, grow old. Get the, get the gray all over your hair. We want you to be like 80 or 90 when you pass on, not 44. So please, if anyone's suffering with addiction or any other kind of demons. I'm going to leave this clip up for you guys at the end of the video. And um, if you guys are worried about content, don't worry. It'll be coming in time. I've just been so swamped with other games I'm covering. I haven't had the chance to really sit down and do it or post the content I have in in uh, drafts because I didn't have the time to give it the attention it so richly deserves. So, again... Um, AEW, I don't know what you guys are going to do about the whole Jeff Hardy situation. He does have that tag ladder match. He's obviously not going to be in it because, you know, he's in jail. I think it's on like a $3,500 bond. But the point right now isn't about tag team wrestling. It isn't about championships. It isn't about, you know, worldwide accolades. The point is to get Jeff Hardy some help before he winds up being a statistic. We don't want him to be another, another case of, you know, what could have been died young, having a memorial to him like Eddie Guerrero or the late the late John Huber slash Brody Lee slash Luke Harper. We want him to, you know, live the longest possible life he can. And if he's going to keep getting into this drug shit and having DUIs third time in ten years, by the way, having DUIs and all that, he's not going to live up to that. So all we want is for Jeff to be healthy and happy. And right now, he's just not on that path. And TK, Tony Khan, it's up to you guys and all of AEW to ensure that Jeff gets in that area. And, I mean, if you have to, have John Moxley sit down with Jeff, you know? Have him talk about his struggles with alcoholism, how he checked himself into alcohol, you know, rehab program, and how tough it must have been for him to do that, for him to step away from something he loved. And <clears throat> that, you know, it's important that you get yourself checked out before you think about going back to this crazy world of pro, pro wrestling. Again, on a, especially with the with the track record that Jeff has, with all the crazy shit he's done to himself over the years. But really, Jeff, first things first. You've got to get some help, man. Get some help. Seek the doctors, whatever. Get some help. And like I said, here's that clip at the end of the video. It looks, it you know it basically says what I've been saying, but um, probably explains it better than I did in the last eight minutes. So anyways, if you guys are ever struggling with alcoholism, any kind of a demons, get help. Reach out. Tell somebody. Call somebody. In any case, <clears throat> I'm sorry for your worrying you guys about the lack of video content. It will be on the way soon once I can, you know, get tear myself away from my games long enough to post the stuff into my drafts. Anyways, I wanted to make this video before Raw tonight so nothing else would get in the way. And Jeff Hardy, please, we're all begging you. Get some help. Anyways, here's that clip, and till next time, y'all know what to do. Follow me on Twitter at SpiderQueenAJ, and something in cheap at Trump to get for all your video needs. And till next time, peace out, y'all. And like I said, here's the clip. Follow it, believe it, trust it, love y'all. And Jeff, please get some help. If you're in a place where you think you need help, Get it, ask for it, reach out, text somebody, call somebody. There's nothing harder that you can do in the world, but there's nothing more courageous as well. There's nothing wrong with asking for help.